Откуда такая жизнь? Meet Ivan Agulov. He's teaching these children in the Russian town of Kirovograd his version of patriotism. He does it in part by frightening the kids out of their wits. Today, he's telling them a story about how the Ukrainian army crucified a small boy and his mother. And the only boy, a three-year-old, was nailed to a wooden board. And when the boy died, they tied his mother to an armored personnel carrier and then dragged her through the streets. Several months of rain could not wipe away the mother's blood. This story was first circulated in 2014 by Russian state television, which was widely accused of fabricating it. No credible proof has ever been presented. These mothers are furious about the lectures and say their nine-year-olds can't sleep at night. It was said at this lecture that they are watching us. My son said, Mom, do you know why gadgets exist? So they can spy on us. On Tuesday, we were Googling ancient Egypt with him. And he said now that we had connected to Google, they were definitely watching us on a camera. Of course, I explained to him that this was not true. The mothers hold leaflets, which were posted around the school advertising the event. It costs 70 rubles or 90 cents per child. But some apparently don't know what their kids would be subjected to. Local education officials confirmed that they had approved the lectures and the school itself is unrepentant. He supports his hypothesis with literary and historical materials. After that, you can decide for yourself whether you will use Google or not, or what you think about Ukraine. He doesn't force his opinions on anyone. After the lecture, there's a chance to question Agulov, but his answers are mystifying. They need to know what fascism is and what it all leads to. Sometimes when I speak to the older kids, I say, you were all friends. If you now begin to insult each other, forgive me, you will end up like Merkel, Obama, Cameron, Hollande. The next lecture is with older children. Agulov is a former actor who has spent a year touring small towns, giving talks on patriotism and family values. Angry parents are trying to get him banned from other schools, but for now, he has official permission to continue delivering his stories to impressionable young minds.